Hi kids! Today we will learn what are the main parts of digestive system. So let's get started. Kids, we know digestive system is a coiled tube-like muscular structure which is about six to nine meters long. It begins at the mouth and ends at the anus. It is called alimentary canal and also gastrointestinal tract or GI tract. Now we are going to learn the main parts of digestive system. Mouth. The mouth is the beginning of our GI tract. It breaks down food we eat into smaller pieces so that it's easy to swallow. Teeth helps to hold, tear, and chew the food. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. Salivary glands secretes saliva in the mouth. Saliva keeps the food and its passage lubricated. Saliva also contains enzymes that break down carbohydrates. Tongue. The tongue helps to move the food in the mouth and helps in chewing and swallowing of food. Pharynx. Pharynx is the upper part of the throat that lies behind the nasal cavity. It is divided into three parts called nasal pharynx, oral pharynx, and laryngopharynx. Pharynx is part of the digestive as well as respiratory system. It is a muscular structure that helps in swallowing down the food from the mouth to the esophagus. It is also important for producing speech in humans. Esophagus. It connects the throat to the stomach. It carries all food and liquid from the throat to the stomach. Liver. The liver secretes digestive juice, which is called bile. Bile plays an important role in digesting fat. It also stores vitamins and minerals. It is also helpful in maintaining blood glucose levels and many more functions. Gallbladder. The main function of the gallbladder is to store the bile produced by the liver. Stomach. Stomach is the main organ where digestion takes place. It is a pear-shaped organ. It links the esophagus to the small intestine. The stomach, too, secretes digestive juices that helps to break down food and also kill germs. Muscles of the stomach keep on contracting. This contracting churns the food and helps in digestion, but only limited absorption occurs in the stomach. That is, complete absorption will take place in the next stage, in the next organ that we will learn. Pancreas. The main role of our pancreas is to control the blood sugar level. Now here is small intestine. It is the part of the GI tract that begins from stomach and ends in large intestine. It is also known as small bowel. Almost all the water is absorbed from the food here in this part. The most important and main function of the small intestine is absorption of nutrients 
and minerals from food. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. The maximum absorption takes place in this organ, that is, the small intestine. Small intestine receives the digestive juices, that is, the bile and pancreatic juice. Bile from the liver and pancreatic juice from the pancreatic duct. Next is the large intestine. Large intestine is also called large bowel. It is the last part of the digestive system. And the leftover water is absorbed from the food here and the remaining part of the food after absorbing all minerals, nutrients, and water is stored as feces here and removed through the anus. Rectum. It stores and expels the solid waste from the body in the form of feces. Anus. It is the opening for the elimination of solid waste from the body. So kids, we have learned all the important parts of the digestive system. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye!